Hey everyone, welcome back to Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy. My name is Dr. Luo, and today we're going to review alternative office chairs. For those of you with an office job, your desk and chair setup are vital to your workplace happiness. If you've got an old chair, it may be uncomfortable, it's causing you back pain, neck pain, even knee pain, you're looking to replace that chair with something better. Look, I really need this new chair. I mean, seriously. How is it possible that in five years, I've had two engagement rings and only one chair? And today, there are so many different options out there and we're gonna look at five of them. So for each chair today, we're gonna be looking at comfortability, posture, adjustability, price, and practicality, which is, does it make noise? Does it take up a lot of space? Or if you're a high powered exec, does it make you look silly? All right, so first we have the regular office chair. Uh, it's very comfortable. You know, you can sit all the way back, lean, recline. Uh, you know, I can sort of let this go and we can relax. Um, I think it's a great chair for you to rest in, uh, not spend a lot of time and obviously it's hard to work uh, in good posture if you are here. So in terms of comfortability, I think yes, very comfortable initially. Um, you know, if you want to do a little bit more work or be in good posture, you would have to sit on the edge. Um, and then that way you could be, you know, shoulders good, neck good, back good. Um, but that's tiring and in this chair, it doesn't really set you up to be in good posture. So comfortable, yes. Um, does it set you up to be in good posture? Not really. Um, and even when you're back here on the lumbar rest, um, it may be that I'm in a good position, but my postural muscles aren't on and that sometimes is even more important. So in terms of adjustability, usually very adjustable. They're made for every different height. I would say the only problem is that if you have very long legs um, to set you up in optimal height, uh, this chair doesn't get me in the optimal height because it just doesn't go high enough. Um, and I can see that in a lot of different office chairs. Um, but you know, it unlocks, you can lean back, uh, you can obviously swivel, uh, usually they're rolling, so you can um, adjust your seat here and there when you want, uh, usually made for every different type of body. Uh, in terms of price, uh, again, it's the biggest on the market, so you have your low end, very cheap, very affordable, also your high luxury, um, usually you wanna find something around the middle so in terms of price um, accessible for everyone and in terms of practicality this chair is the office norm it's accepted everywhere I don't think you'll find an office space well where they won't accept a swivel chair so I give this chair a 7.5 out of 10 Ashley's for the second chair we have the Swiss ball or the yoga ball uh, in terms of comfortability it's not bad I do feel like my legs and my core have to work a little bit more just to keep me stable um, but yeah comfortable um, I would say like medium comfort not as comfortable as the swivel chair definitely uh, with all that stability with the lumbar support obviously we have none here um, so yeah uh, medium comfortable um, it's soft you're able to move around um, it does I feel like keep me in better posture because it kind of forces me to uh, but at the same time I do feel like I'm having to work a little bit harder to stay seated on this chair um, and I think that's the problem with a lot of people with um, the yoga ball is it's hard to sit for eight hours a day on this chair um, or, or ball to make sitting on a yoga ball easier you can also get a base that that way when you sit on it you don't have to worry about it rolling around so much. It can kind of be more stable and you can probably sit on the yoga ball for a little longer. It's not very adjustable. It's a ball. Um, the price, very decently priced. Obviously, yoga ball is not going to be so expensive. 20 bucks maybe on Amazon. Um, and then, in terms of practicality, I think that most workplaces accept that a yoga ball or a Swiss ball um, is good and can be ergonomic for uh, a, a work environment. But if you have more traditional or old-fashioned work, uh, you might get some stairs. So, overall, I give the Swiss ball a... 7 out of 10 Ashley's. All right, so for the third chair, we have the Body Archer. Now, unfortunately, this product is discontinued. The Body Archer company is shut down, but I do think that if you can find a product like this, or if they can start making a new product like this, 
then uh, it could be very beneficial because it's like an in-between between, between a, a yoga ball and also a swivel chair. It gives you motion yet is a little bit more stationary so you can sit here longer. Now, the Body Archer, very comfortable. I think it was pretty expensive which is probably why not a lot of people know about it or bought it. Um, but the material is very good, very comfortable, good cushion. I feel like um, I could probably sit here all day. It may even be more comfortable than the swivel chair. The only downside is that it does not have a back rest. So you cannot lean back and relax. Um, but it does force you to be in a better posture. Now, um, it allows you to go side to side. And if you want to flip it, you can go forward and back. Now, um, this allows you to be in good posture, but you need to know what good posture is. So you don't want to be too forward and be so extended. You also don't want to be too back and have your back sort of slouched like that. Um, so you can be in good posture um, and it does allow you to do so better than the swivel chair. Uh, in terms of adjustability, it doesn't really go up or down, but I feel like the, the height of it and the design of it allows pretty much anyone to sit on the chair. You just have to either sit farther back if you're taller or you can sit farther forward if you are shorter. Um, in terms of price, pretty expensive. I'm not sure what the actual retail was, but uh, probably a couple hundred dollars. In terms of practicality, it looks good, it looks sleek, it doesn't look unprofessional, so I think it would be accepted in most office spaces. I do think it does take up a little bit of space, but it's not noisy when it rocks back and forward. Um, I don't think it would disturb a lot of people. Overall, I give the Body Archer an 8.5 out of 10 Ashleys. Alright, for the fourth option, we have the knee chair. So this chair supports your knees and it's actually surprisingly comfortable. Um, I would say that uh, it's definitely less comfortable than any of the previous chairs, but uh, it does allow you to be in better posture. So if you can get a side view. So from the side, you can really see that uh, my back is in a pretty straight posture. I don't really have to work to be in this place. I don't have to, you know, if I, if I kind of tilt my pelvis up like this and slouch my back, uh, it's kind of hard to be in this position. If I go too far forward, it's also hard. I feel like my, my hips are being pinched. So just being, just sitting in the chair, I really feel like my posture is ideal. Um, and that's more so than any of the previous chairs. Uh, in terms of adjustability, <clears throat> it's not really adjustable. It is a little bit, you can make it go uh, a little bit higher. Not the easiest to adjust. So in terms of price, uh, this chair is about $100. You can also find a higher end chair that rocks back and forward. Uh, that one's about $300. But uh, if you're looking for just a nice office chair, it has wheels, rolls around, about 100 bucks, pretty reasonable price. Um, in terms of practicality, it's very easily disguised. Um, it doesn't really take up more space than a regular swivel chair. And I think it, uh, it fits an office space pretty well. It doesn't look uh, too crazy. So, overall, I give the kneeling chair an 8 out of 10 Ashleys. Alright, so for the fifth and final product, we have a stool. So this is a rolling stool. Um, I use it in my practice when I'm treating patients. This is a brewer stool. It's uh, specifically designed for uh, medical professionals. Uh, so it costs around $300, but you can find a comfortable stool under $100 on Amazon. Amazon even has its own Amazon Basics stool. So um, it's very accessible. Uh, in terms of comfort, I mean, this stool is very comfortable. I think that the cushion is uh, important for when you're choosing a stool, um, but this one is very comfortable. It feels like um, very supportive, even though it's, it's cushiony. Um, however, <clears throat> I do feel like I do have to put some work in uh, with my legs when I'm trying to hold myself still because if I set myself in good posture, aligning my four dots, uh, it definitely feels like it wants to roll back, especially if you're on a hard floor, if you have wood or uh, tile um, versus something like carpet. In terms of putting yourself in good posture, this stool is pretty good. Uh, it's nothing special, just kind of a flat surface for you to sit on, but it also doesn't have a backrest, which forces you to, again, be in good posture, like the Swiss ball, like the body arc, uh, like the other stool as well. 
However, you do have to put a little bit of work in. So it doesn't naturally bring you into good posture, but um, it's, it's not bad. In terms of adjustability, it's pretty good. Um, it just goes up and down. Not, not much other features. That's it. Price, like I said before, you can spend as much as $300 all the way down to $30. Um, and in terms of practicality, very practical. Uh, it does roll around a lot. If you do have a hardwood floor, I would recommend getting a rug. It is very easy for people to slip off of it. Um, we don't even allow our patients to sit on these chairs because of that reason. So overall, I give the stool a 6.5 out of 10 Ashleys. So if you liked the video, please let us know below by leaving a like, subscribe, hit that bell, and leave us a comment. Tell us what chair you're going to buy next. My name is Dr. Luo. We're here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy, and I'll see you in the next video.